that just started recording. Wow. 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 Dude, I don't even know how much I just missed. I can't believe I wasn't recording. Anymore. What's going on guys? Alright, so today we're going to be putting the new clutch into the orange car. So we're going to pull up transmission, uh, change one of the motor mounts, and that should be right about all we have to do under the car. Let's see what this new clutch looks like. So we got our throw out bearing in here. really all that went out in that car. Clutch is fairly new in it, but um, I don't know if they didn't put in a new throw out bearing or put in a really cheap one, but the throw out bearing is what's gone out in there. Here's our clutch plate. And too bad nobody's ever gonna get to see that. All right, so let's get started. Update, it's actually not a broken motor mount. It's a broken transmission mount here. I don't know how well you can see this. Completely blown. So every time, every time I shift, it, um, it basically you feel the car pick up and set back down. We'll just order another one of those and have to put that in before we put the transmission back in. But let's go ahead and get all this cold air intake stuff out of the way. That way we can access our bolts down here. Start taking the transmission out. All right, so first thing we're going to do is get this section of pipe right here of the cold air intake out of the way. Clamp this off. Hmm. Plug the MAF sensor here. And we should be able to... Pull that section off there. Get a little bit of this out of the way so we can access our bolts a little bit better. Set this over here out of the way. Get our light out. Let's see. So, right down in here, this is going to be what's giving oil to our throw out bearing. That's our oil line here. That's what you're looking at right there. So, all we're going to need is a flathead and just pry this little clip out right here. Pry outwards on that. And we should be able to just pull this oil line up. There we go. Little drip drip. Got our oil pin down there. Huh, a little bit more drip drip than I was anticipating. All right, now we've got a mounting bolt there, here, and then there's also one more right there under the battery box. Let's see, so it looks like a well, and we should be able to pull that right out and take this little plate off. Take all this over here. Let's go ahead and get this shift linkage out of the way here. We're gonna have to get a little more juice on that. That was good. And we'll take this and move it out of the way as much as possible. I guess we're just gonna leave it right there. Take these, put them over here. Let's see. What else we can get to from the top? Let's see. So, what the? What do we have going here? Um, so I'm gonna put stands probably over here to the side, back there, one right there, a couple over there. So we're gonna take this cross member down here, as well as these two bolts out that are in the side of the bell housing there. Let's get the big boy. 17. 
Let's see if we can't crack them loose with this. Right. So, getting this tire off, somehow this lug nut broke. It's always something, man. The key's fine, it's not really stripped up too bad, but that's broke. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld this nut on here and use it to back that off. Alright guys, so as you can see, we got our nut nice and loaded on there. I'm just going to wait for it to cool down a little bit. And uh, we're going to try to give it a good crack and then see what happens. Alright, so I wasn't recording, but I ended up beating on a 12 point socket and was able to get it off now we're just gonna get all this plastic out of the way and get the caliper and rotor off and then we should be able to tilt the front hub assembly back and be able to pop the axle out so we just got the transmission out here as you can see here is the part we're actually going to be changing. That's the clutch there. The plates are actually behind that pressure plate there. So we're going to have to pull those bolts out, pull the clutch out, and then this is the whole reason for pulling the transmission. The throw out bearing, this is what was making all the noise anytime you didn't have the clutch depressed. So that is the major issue that we're going to be resolving today. So let's take the transmission out to the driveway, get it cleaned up, get all this uh, build up off of it. Alright, so I'm just going to be using a brake parts cleaner and some shop rags to clean it up. Taped off, I'm going to go ahead and see how much of this I can get out. Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Uh, we got the transmission pulled out of the clips, cleaned it up a little bit. We got a little bit left to do to the car, but uh, that should be coming up in the next video here in just a couple days. When you say taco. All it takes is Taco Bell Hard to believe but you know darn well It tastes so good